when I read Brother Maxwell's comment, I threw away the list and silenced that critical voice. So when I saw my grown children for that brief time each week, I focused on the many positive things they were already doing. And when our oldest son Ryan passed away a few years later, I remember being grateful our time together was happier and more positive. Before we interact with a loved one, can we ask ourselves this question? Is what I'm about to do or say helpful or hurtful? Because our words are one of our superpowers, and family members are like human blackboards standing in front of us saying, write what you think of me. These messages, whether intentional or unintentional, should be hopeful and encouraging. Our job is not to teach someone who's going through a rough patch that they are bad or disappointing. On rare occasions, we may feel prompted to correct, but most often, let's tell our loved ones in spoken and unspoken ways the messages they long to hear. Our family feels whole and complete because you are in it. You will be loved for the rest of your life, no matter what.